Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to an episode of Customs Through for Dice Folk. Today we are entering the third and final act of this current run. We currently have this guy, who's kind of our superstar, I want to say. 14 strength, 5 intelligence, swaps in, deals 5 damage, something random. This, which is kind of like our support, and then we also have the dice fragment to help finish things off. And this guy in the back, just for bleeds whenever he does attack, he's not super important for us right now. He's just kind of like an added benefit. His thing, though, is if he's hurt, he gets focus when coming in, which can be a nice burst of damage. We're going to hold off on the Broodberries. Uh, let's just go straight to the Chimera Shrine. See what our first option is. On rotation, grants two int to its allies for the rest of the turn. Okay. Um... Still, 28, 7, 2, and, like, that might be better than the Sindel. We'll see, but that could be really nice, because it pairs well with the Turboid. I'm, like, debating, do I want it now? Because, like, again, that does pair well. And it has three equipment slots. We just wouldn't see what else is out there, but. So this die lets us rotate. That has one rotation on it. That's nothing but rotations. That has no rotations. Two rotations a turn. That could really add up, that combo. Can I... Okay, I can't revisit, so we do have to go back over here. So I can't revisit shrines. Got it. Ooh, I... On spawn, afflict sleep to a random opponent, which is you. I think that's fine. You, at turn end, inflicts four burn on the opposing leader. I do not want that. I want to try to get him down if we can. So actually, yeah, this is fine. Perfect. He swapped out. We do five. So if we do a ranged attack on Spindle... And then rotate him. <laughs> Even with focus, he just does the same. So, in fact, we want... Yeah, we want this way. It's energy. Smack. Smack. And then maybe the dice can get us there? Yep. Man. Alright, this turboid's starting to put out a lot of damage. I like it. Oh, we gotta remember to use that. 13 gold. See a scroll master. Tax opposing leader when it enters. Okay. Go for the traveler. Max hit point increasing. Gold. Or he gain healing equipment. Healing could be nice too. Let's go healing. No more dice gains leech. Mm, okay. All right. Starting to see a vision. Okay. Uh, when it enters the lead, attacks the opposing leader. No effect. When it enters the lead, if health is not full, gains focus. Got it. No effect. Yeah, that, that wasn't a great decision by me. So we can rotate like this.
Okay. I screwed that turn up. I thought I had two free rotations, and I did not. Freeze one. Okay. Now we can do this. So you'd be next. We put you to sleep. We can take you out. Let's do the... Uh, you're not done yet, but you're going to be after the dice. Random rotation. You get focus. We can put the turboid back. And then rotate out. This will do a bunch to ever... Or only one, but it's all we needed. Okay. Uh, the Frozen is interesting. You're asleep. Let's take the frozen. Let's take the guard. I know it's a or that one in the back is asleep, so we can do this. Do a random rotation. Just five to something, and then we can put the turboid back up front, so it does more damage again. We do all this extra damage. Yeah, we want to pick up that one from the shrine. Idle mirror. I guess it rotates anyway. Okay. Uh, we can still do this, though. Because it doesn't wake up the Morsupian. Because it's not an attack. Now it's woken up, but it doesn't attack back. We can rotate like this. Even if it gets focus. And then we'll put him up front, because he's pretty healthy, and we'll get the focus. Does five. Puts it back to sleep, which means we should be able to finish it off pretty cleanly. And then as long as we can get one attack in on that, it goes down. That's fine. We can't attack either. I guess we could have rotated better, actually, but... Yeah, I, I could have played this one better. It's still over. It just took a couple extra steps. I gotta, I gotta start remembering to use the gold token. So, travel bags. It goes on you. And then you get this. Yeah. What do we have here? Another die? I think that's trip, make leader. Mm, it's a mechanical die too. Okay. It's a little iffier. No idols, no idols, two idols, one idol. Guard seems nice. Mirror does too. Those are expensive. All right, we might be back for these. Leader attacking it at range could be helpful, too, to pick off things in the back. Right, it's just going to be you. Bonfire will hold off on. Hopefully this will be fine. So you do have an attack, and it will KO me. Go ahead and take this. We're not going to be able to take it out here. On the opposing leader. So if we put... 
him next. That'll be fine. Yeah, you should get Leech now. Leech is not... Okay, Leech does seem to be permanent. Okay. The guard is aggravating. Let's do this and clash. Rotate the guy in the back up front. Do this. We can then do a strong attack. Okay, so leech lasts for one attack, but look at all of that. And that, we can do a random rotation. No more dice left. It gets leech again. Ranged attack is target the leader, does it? Rotate right would mean that goes up front, which isn't really what I want. So if the leader attacks, if that does 14, it would still be too low. I should have seen that one coming. I didn't see how low health he was. Okay. Okay. But that does kind of set up for this. So I'm going to go with calculated. You guys can believe me or not, but I'm going to go with calculated. We might have to go back to the bonfire. Slightly heals the whole team, except for him. Shrine there. Actually... We were going to replace him anyway. What is that? Alright, randomly rotates on a spell. Can be consumed to trigger mana-based chimera effects called spell. Okay, but... I don't know. This seems really good. Can be assumed to trigger mana-based chimera effects called spe Does it have spells? To its allies. I'm gonna just gonna go with this, but... Yeah. Okay, inflicts three bleeds. That's fine. Okay. We can take this off later if we want to, but... Alright, that saves us from having used the bonfire. We'll go here. So Sfinder again. So he's the one that when he rotates in, if he's not full health, he gets focus. I think the Armandoro attacks my leader when it becomes leader. Yep, and this guy has no effect. Got it. Micro heal. Lightly heals itself. Got it. Okay, so if we go... Let's go guard and swap? Yeah, that's why I did that.
We can then go like this. So we're going to rotate right. Yeah, you exited the lead. You're asleep. You get intelligence, and we'll put him back in the lead. So he'll do damage again, and it's the last die, so he'll get leech. Against that. Or against his next attack. So there's Clash, so we can do this. Yeah, we'll heal up a little bit from that. So he's at 25. We can take him out. Nothing, nothing. Rotate left. For intelligence, and then rotate back right. He gets Leech again. And we do extra damage with all of that. So I don't imagine we heal ourselves. Like, I don't imagine we heal off of this. Oh, it's asleep. Okay. Never mind. Um. So if we go ahead and do this. We can't attack because we're incapacitated, so we might as well do this. that and then we'll get another leech off so let's do free rotation and bring him back up front And then we'll do this attack. And then try to rotate him out to hit the guy up front. No, it didn't hit that one. That's unfortunate. Okay. Lived with one. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the handle on it. The sleep is actually huge. I just have to keep make sure I keep track of it and keep it in mind. Gold. Uh, lightly heals. Hard choice. That'd be you. You again. Okay, so we still have this and a bonfire and the dice smith. I'm guessing that's probably the shop. Let's grab this. That's the dude that burns me. I'd like to try to get him up front. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, we got him up front. I didn't do the attack. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is fine. There's no more. We're going to do a ranged attack on you. Power attack on you. Okay, so you're up front. On the leader... So as long as we swap it out, we should be okay. As long as it doesn't take any attacks, we'll be alright. You have leech. So if we put you up front, and then do this, yeah, there's the heal from that. We can attack you, random rotation to put you up, and then just double idle and random rotation to give him leech again, and do some extra damage and sleeps as well. And then this damage. So 
So if you're asleep... We can do this. The Clash will be fine because, again, it's asleep. I'm fine swapping it back in. And we can do this. Empty, idle, and then rotate left. Does damage to something. It gets leech, and we get the dice. Let's take this and have it take the attack. We'll rotate. Not great, but okay. If we want something to attack us from the random... Although it doesn't look... Either attacks or turns in a random direction. So yeah. Okay, that's fine. We can then use that. The one in the back's taken out, and we have this. If we can get the turboid up front, we can take him out. There's a free rotation and an attack. Alternatively, I could have kept rotating and he would have gone down. Thorn token. Okay. That could be helpful. Pile of gold? Okay, don't mind if I do. Shop? Is that an elite battle? It is. That's a normal shop, though. Not even a curse shop. Okay. Turn start deals one damage to self. On spawn gains taunt. On spawn strongly heals. On grants focus. Mm. I'm gonna pick those two up. I'm gonna pick this up too. Reason for that is I'm gonna do this elite fight. We're going to use the gold token. And then we'll go from there. Alright. So Spindle. Gains guard. Okay, so we want him up front. Does this. Yes. But the clash. Okay. Yep, it's a lot, but there we go. And then we'll put it back in so it gets the, uh, the leech. That sleep is helpful. That opens up a lot of opportunities for us. It only doing six is nice. So that'll heal us a little bit. And then it should go down to the thorns here. That lets us do the strong attack. We will also rotate left. 
It being asleep is huge. Is that only a 30% chance? 25, yeah. I guess we're rotating so much, it seems to trigger a lot. Can't attack, can't rotate, we got this. So we can put our Turboid back up front with a power attack. So it should heal a bunch. Yep, there, it's pretty much fully healed. One more rotate. Does that. Again, I don't think the Turboid itself is insane. I think we just have really good items on it. I think that's the difference. On spawn, self-inflict sleep. But 18 max hit points could be fine. Support attack times one. Let's put that on this die. So we have this. So we get two mirrors. One of these. I think we're going to want these. Can grab that there. A focus could be huge. I'm going to grab both of these. We can afford one of these. Let's go with two mirrors. There's a chance we can combine it with the strong attack. So we'll put one there and we'll also put one here so we're not incapacitated. Okay. Out of curiosity, is there... I don't know if there's a way to sell. Doesn't seem like it, but... I think we're in a pretty good position overall. Uh, we'll hit the bonfire, and then we'll do the boss. But I think... I think we're okay? I think we can just do eat. That's really our only one that's hurt. Max hit points, max hit points. Yeah, it's just max hit points across the board. So I'm going to put this here. If it doesn't attack, that's fine. Did I miss something? I don't think so. Alright, and then we have these. Small diets only for one battle. But we have two of them. Oh, there's two mar... I guess, uh, what's this guy? Gorsalot. Attacks an opponent once. Okay. That's random. Let's take this. Okay. Leader swap could be huge. It lets us get Turboid back quickly. Focus, I don't think we need there. We don't think we need either of these right now. Rotate left. Okay, we have a chance to get him down. E either one of them's fine. We can get rid of the attack. Mirror. I just don't want to have the burns piling up is the biggest thing. I should be careful, though, because I expect him to ramp a little bit. Yeah, there's the burn. Yep, there it is. So I can do this. 
We don't have a mirror. You can get one of those. Alright, that being asleep is nice. Let's go ahead and have that be frozen. Random rotation is fine. Leader swap on him. And then just rotate again. That way. Ah, uh, we needed a couple more for that. I was hoping it would finish it off. That's too bad. Okay. Boss activates its spell. Is it me, or is that just terrifying? I don't know if this is going to block it. I hope so. It missed. I don't understand. <laughs> but we have this. Which does a bunch. Clash should be... F uh, no, let's rotate. Let's use the Clash, because then it won't get used up. It's awake now, though. That gets it down. I mean, this doesn't really matter, but... But now this means that all of our rotation damage goes to that. So free rotation is fine. And then we can put it back up in front. Clash attack? We can deal with that. Attack? Attacks all of That's huge. That's actually really nice. We don't need it right now. But because that was asleep... The Clash didn't hit. So if we do this... There's a chance it goes back to sleep, which it did. So we can rotate the Turboid back up in front. Then use this Clash that we're not going to get hit by. Then use this rotation. We can then do strong attack, mirror, attack all. I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay. The spell again. Um, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the spell. Broke the guard and did damage to everything. Got it. If it attacks, that's no big deal. We just heal it back up. Yep, there's the heal. Rotate right, can't do anything. Ranged attack on that. Energy blast is fine. left. Leader swap on Turboid. We attack. Free rotation. Doesn't super matter. We do more damage to it again. Do we get all four procs? Oh, we, we needed one more! 
Oh, we needed one more. It doesn't super matter. We're fine. Just for fun. Uh, he wasn't up front. My bad. There we go. Now we got him. I just wanted to take him out like that. That... <laughs> So, I thought this comp was weaker than the one in our last run, but this was a lot smoother. Like, so much smoother. Um. Man, this... Alright, so the Wrath Talisman. Okay. We got... You can now loot breakable equipment. Wandering Hero. Explore his new biome, discover its fauna. That's kind of cool. New enemies. Its content is... This, right? Uh, okay. New Chimera. Michi Kichi. I, I want it just for the name. And this, I, I just want it. Look at the sprite. Ori Guru. This. This guy right here, the one that gave us Leech. That seems so busted. That seems absolutely ridiculous. It seemed like a pretty easy threshold to fill till. Like, that just seemed absolutely busted. Yeah. I, I think that's what carried us. Because we could just continuously rotate it around to get that extra attack off and heal up and abuse Clash with it. And that just seems insane. I mean, yeah, we had the strength and damage to really take advantage of the leech. But, jeez. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. This wraps up our second run through Dice Folk. Two for two so far. I'm sure we'll never have any problems whatsoever. We'll just get through. No problem. Never lose. Never worry. But if there's any other games you guys want to see me play, let me know down in the comments below. There's a ton of great games out right now. A lot of stuff I'd love to make content for, but also hear you guys' suggestion. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great night, and take care. <laughs>